and welcome back to Elspeth Beauty. Yay! Today is another video in a series of videos on Urban Decay, my personal favorite brand of eyeshadows. Not necessarily their makeup, like, you know, foundation, but absolutely their eyeshadows and lipsticks. Oh, yes, I'm sure if you've watched my other videos, you know I rant and rave and absolutely adore Urban Decay. Yes. So, if you want to know when I post new videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Yeah. Why don't I just cheer for myself? I don't know. I like to cheer for myself. It's fun. Yeah. My videos have been a little dry lately. Hmm. I don't know. It's the fall. I'm tired. Yeah. My kids aren't interrupting me as much. I mean, what's up with that? Why aren't they coming in and interrupting me all the time? I don't know. Anyways, today we're going to go over the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Woo! Now, this is not a new palette, I know, okay? This, of course, made its rounds through the YouTube universe. What was that, a year ago, year and a half ago, two years ago? I don't know. This palette has definitely been out for a while, but I never purchased it until lately because it is now on sale for $24. $24. For. Um, yes, please. I'll pay $24 for this palette. I think it was originally $50 and that was a little bit, I don't know, just a little bit much for such bright colors. I love bright colors. I love them. But $50 for all of these, I mean, and uh, yeah, it was a good deal, but I still... It was just hard to swallow when there were other palettes that I knew I could wear every single day and I wasn't buying those so I couldn't really justify you know $50 on the electric palette but now that I've spent $24 on it I would say yes go get it it's 50% off I'm pretty sure it's because they're getting rid of it um, I know you can get it on the Urban Decay website I'm not sure if you can find it on Ulta or Sephora anymore I don't think you can um, I think I only saw it on uh, urbandecay.com so again if you're interested if you like the swatches if you like what you're able to do with it pick it up now before it's gone now there's one huge downside to this palette that I will just get out of the way right now it has a warning label on four of the shades yeah so this is actually called the pressed pigment palette Okay, and then on four of the shades, it says important, slow burn, savage, jilted, and urban are not for use around the eye. What? Not around the eye? Isn't, isn't this an eyeshadow palette? What do you mean I can't use it around my eyes? I'm gonna use it around my eyes. That's the whole point. It's an eyeshadow palette. Oh no, sorry, we called it a pressed pigment palette. I'm still gonna use it around my eyes. So, what bothers me is, you've got these four shades with an asterisk saying don't use around the eyes. It doesn't say why not to use them around their, the eyes. Am I going to go blind? Are my eyelashes gonna fall out? Um, are my eyelids gonna turn hot pink? I have no idea, I don't know. Um, so even though there's a warning there saying not to use it around your eyes, it'd be nice if they had some more directions, some more information. I tried to check online. I couldn't find anything. Um, I saw that everybody used it around their eyes anyways. So was this just to keep them from getting sued or something? Um, the only thing I can come up with is maybe the pigments actually stain your skin. Um, I definitely saw that come up a few times. I just don't remember what shades it was. So maybe that has something to do with it. But yeah, I really, I really do wish that they kind of explained why it's not for use around the eyes. Do you have some kind of poisonous chemical in there? I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, let me open this little gem up. Here we go, and it's been rattling around a lot because there is an eyeshadow brush in there. See? Get a nice little eyeshadow brush. You get these 10 lovely colors. So for $24, you're getting each color for about $2. Not too bad, if I say so myself. 
Now, you also get this gigantic mirror. Time for some swatches. Swatchy, swatchy, swatchy. Oh, yeah. And it did come with an actual brush. You can tell that I've used it a few times. We have a nice flat end here, and then you've got a nice little detailed brush on the other end. So the colors in the palette are Revolt, which is a bright metallic shimmer with silver glitter. Gonzo, a bright turquoise matte with floating tonal pearl. Slow Burn, bright red-orange matte with floating pearl. Savage, bright hot pink matte. Fringe, bright metallic teal. Chaos, bright blue matte with floating tonal pearl. Jilted, bright metallic fuchsia with blue shift. Urban, bright metallic purple. Freak, bright green with gold shift. And last, Thrash, bright lime green matte with floating gold pearl. Today, as I usually do, I will be using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion on my arm when I do my swatches. And I will be using the brush that was provided by Urban Decay. I'm going to be using the flat end over here. So first up, we have Revolt, which is kind of hard to see on my skin. If I move it, you can kind of see that there's a shimmer there. Next up is Gonzo. It's a very beautiful blue color. You can see that it gets patchy if you um, try to rub it in. So I've noticed that it's better if you just kind of like um, pat it on onto your eyes. It's better than actually dragging the brush across, but... I'm used to doing swatches that way, so that's how it's going to be for today. This is Slow Burn. And this one clearly needs some help. Definitely really patchy. I'm going to actually get more product, which goes against what I usually say I'm going to do. And I'm going to try patting it on. You see you can get a really good color that way. Next is my favorite, which is Savage. Again, it works better if you pat it on. So I'm going to do that and then I'll drag it. But that is a beautiful hot pink color. My favorite. Next you have Fringe. Which is not as easy to apply as some of the other colors. And I think I still have a little bit of pink on there too. This one is Chaos. Which is an absolutely beautiful blue color. So this blue and this pink go together really, really well. There is a bit of fallout. I put a lot on my brush, so I apologize. I dug a little deeper into the pigment than I usually do. Next up is Jilted. This one is Urban. It's a beautiful purple color. And I've run out of room down here, so I'm going to move up here. This color is Freak. And I love the green. I think it's gorgeous. And then last but not least, we have Thrash, which is another beautiful color. So there you go. Here are your pigments um, from the Electric palette. I think they're all very gorgeous colors. Uh, my favorite, of course, are the hot pink and the blue. I also really like the Revolt color here. Um, although it's hard to see, it is good for either a base or a highlight um, on your eyeshadows. So you can kind of put it on top of your pink and tone it down a little bit and add a little bit of shimmer because those are matte colors, so... Anyways, just an idea. Alright, so there you have it! All of the Urban Decay electric colors. Yeah! Now, you can also look at my Instagram, Elspeth Beauty. I think I already said that, but I'll say it again because... Yeah, you probably forgot already. Um, I definitely used these colors. I used the Slow Burn, Savage, Thrash. I think I used Revolt. 
Um, and probably Chaos when I did my Charmander eye makeup look. Um, not my best work. I am not good at Halloween makeup. I'm just not. Um, there are people on YouTube who just do a fantastic job and I envy them. They do a great job and I wish I was that talented. I am not that talented. Um, I'm pretty much in front of the camera now because I wanted to show the you know, average professional working mother who doesn't have time for gorgeous shades such as this. Yeah, I still bought it because I love color. I really wish that there was a yellow in here because Thrash, even from the swatch that you just saw, was not yellow enough. It really is the sort of greenish yellow color. Um, so that's my only complaint, but you know, for some of the other looks that people create, maybe that is much more useful than a pure yellow. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, Revolt, I think, is a good color that you can wear pretty much anytime you want a silver highlight on your eyelids. I think that's one of the colors that you can wear to work, you know, if you're feeling a little bit festive um, and it's not too overpowering. Um, same thing with the Jilted color, which I'll show you again. Jilted is another one where it is highly pigmented, but you can wear it on your eyelids and kind of tone it down with some more neutral colors. And that way you can have a nice pop of color um, and still be able to wear it in the workplace and not look like you're going to be going out clubbing. Unless your workplace is the club and then, hey, sure, why not? Go right ahead. All right, that's it for today on the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Yeah. Until next time, I hope you like this video. Make sure you give it thumbs up, hit the subscribe, follow me, Else With Beauty, on Instagram. I think that's all for now. Yeah, leave comments below. How do you, how do you use this palette? Is it really only good for Halloween makeup and I'm just crazy for using it to wear to work? I don't know. I mean, that's entirely possible. Let me know. Eh. All right, until next time, bye.